Welcome back. We have a new drop of AKA players, which is Cam Chancellor, AKA Bam Bam Cam, Marshawn Lynch, AKA Beast Mode. Only two cards to drop. This is drop two. We should be seeing another drop soon with two more cards. But yeah, honestly, one of the best drops so far. Cam Chancellor and Marshawn Lynch in one drop. Double Seahawk drop. Crazy enough. We already got four good cards in the beginning. We got two more to add on to it. Who knows who are the two other cards. I was thinking of them dropping maybe... See, I, I, I have a feeling they're going to drop another halfback. I heard someone say Ryan Fitzpatrick and William Perry because, you know, the fridge and, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick is Ryan Fitz magic, which honestly, that could be the case. But yeah, I was thinking like Walter Payton was going to be one. Maybe they'll give us another halfback because we already have a D tackle. So if they give us a William Perry, it's the same thing, basically. So I don't know. There could be cards coming that are good. There could be cards coming that we will question. But I was thinking there was going to be a quarterback. And the quarterback card I was thinking was Ryan Fitzpatrick. The other one was thrown up in the air as William Perry. William Perry would be a good one. We usually see him around like the Christmas stuff. I remember him being a field pass master in Madden Mobile 22. So I don't know what's to come. Things are changing this year. It's pretty crazy, you know. Let's continue. Uh, there is 139 versions of the 148s that were shown. Those are the foil cards. So if we scroll down here, you can see the 139s of these cards, which honestly, they're not that bad. They're really not that bad. You need three randoms and three of the actual epic to get them, which is very easy. I have three epics right now at random because I think I'm going for Marshall Lynch and or Cam. But if they do drop like a good card next, I'm going to have to pick them up. Now, if they do drop Ron Fitzpatrick, I might have to pick him up. Even though I got the Michael Vick Epic QB, it will be an iconic. It will be 139. It will be better than the Vick. And it's Ryan Fitzpatrick, a.k.a. Magic. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, with that out of the way, we do have something new in the game, which is actually crazy to look at. When you guys go into core, you should see this new uh, tab, which is your game day tab. There's two days on it. It says complete... Your game day challenges each week for the pick em items. So there is no longer your pick em items like event thing in the mana base. It is now its own thing and it has a time on it. So two days, 39 minutes for this. You guys will basically play throughout uh, these and then they'll disappear to come back and all that, which is pretty cool because you can play the ones that are open right now and then you guys can play the other ones uh, when the time comes so 45 hours for those two days 39 minutes for those two days four hours for those so yeah much cooler way to do this and it's like more of a thing now because i bet they were not even like contemplating that the game day was a huge thing because it was just hid in madden base now it's its own thing so i bet a lot more people will play because i bet back in the beginning of madden mobile 23 Basically, no one played this. I, I know for myself, I never touched on this just because the rewards were terrible. I wonder if they changed the like rewards. Let me go back to core because it does have a trade thing in the corner. You can click on trades. It brings you to limited time. Chance at iconic player. Oh, here we go. They have updated it. Chance at an epic player. Why does it have a 76? Like uncommon though as like the card. So 76 to uncommon player. What is this? Can we click on it? The other one clicked on, and I can't. Yeah, this one clicked on 76 through 80. This one won't let me click on it. And this one won't let me click on it either. I don't know why. But this says a chance at an iconic player, which I bet is really low if they're showing 76s, unless the art is wrong for it. I have no clue. Maybe it's 76 and up. You have a chance at an iconic. This one is 76 and up. You have a chance at an epic. And then this one is just. And our common player, which is a 76 through 80. So basically, you play your game day events and you take your loss you put into there, you take your win you put into this one, the epic player one, you take your wins you put into this one. So if you win, you have a chance at iconic player. If you win, you have a chance at epic player. If you lose, you just get uncommon. That's not bad. Before, you only got like coins, weights, or training points, or something like that. It really wasn't a player choice. Now they're actually like giving us chances at iconics. And that because if you win, and if you lose, you just get on a common player because you lost. You know, you picked wrong, that team didn't win. I'm sorry. 
so yeah that's now in the limited time which is pretty cool that it is now a limited time feature which kind of brings it more to a bigger aspect for people to play and hop on and do the game day stuff which is pretty cool that is actually a very interesting thing that they have done and i love what they've done there it's actually gonna make more people play i'm actually gonna play it now just because you have chances at players before it really wasn't a big thing which is uh now something i'm gonna do thank you EA, for that okay so i have 636 of these ak tokens and can i oh no i just got another epic player that's how i got three now i think i can claim my rare player but i don't think i can because i think at a certain time if you claim it you have to go back at that same time so i think i have to go back later to claim that so let me check the store right now and just see throughout the aka thing and where i'm at i have to wait four hours i have to wait four hours for my 102 i know i claimed it late yesterday so now i'm gonna be claiming it late every day which is okay i guess but yeah, I gotta keep on doing the field pass uh, stuff, which is my daily goal is to get the field pass rewards. And I have to actually go through the medium stage to get another rare player. I haven't went through any of the medium ones. I've just been going hard mode on the top one, just autoing it because I've just been getting a stack of them. You get like, I think 40 each time you auto. 60. Oh, even better. It's 60. And if you click on the info tab from the EK, it tells you easy mode gives you nothing. Medium gives you 200 plus, and then hard mode gives you 350 plus. So that's why I'm doing hard, just because it gives you more. So, yeah, that's the kind of strategy I'm going at right now. And then we got season three, close to 10k coins. The light rewards are in the beginning, because right now I'm only at 1,550 points so far in the field pass. But once I keep on going, I'll, I'll get up there. I also have right now 860 cash, which. I'm so tempted to drop it on like a pack or something. So this is a chance pack and I kind of get eight. Ooh. Like it's like what happens if I actually pull it? That's the crazy mindset, right? Now, if I spend 300 cash, I do get 150 back with some extras throughout the daily goals, which is good. Which means I only really spent what? About like 150 on this, right? Is that the... I think that's the correct math because if I get 150 plus extra, I can't really do the exact math because I don't know how much cash I'm really getting. But yeah, I will be getting cash back. Do need to spend 100 cash per day, so not bad. If I do get an iconic, I do get an iconic. If I don't, I don't. You know, it's not the end of the world. But let's see. Oh no, it's a bust. You know when it doesn't drag in the middle, it's a bust. If it stays there, it, well, no. If it stays there, if it's a bust. If it doesn't drag in the middle, it's a bust. Well, that's what I just said. If it drags the middle you know it's a rare or better and it wasn't well kind of 300 cash down the drain but i need to spend 100 which is okay i'll get you know five right now there i'll get 20 cash right there i need to do a league versus league drive play arena and four mana base and look at that i got 200 cash for going to level 21 i needed that that's a w right there i have to play four mana base challenges I'll get 150, I'll get 5 from each of these, so that's 15 plus the 150, which is 165. Not not bad, just got 200 from that, so I'm back up at 785 cash right there, so perfect. It worked good, I guess. I got two uncommons in the mix of that with a lot of mana cash back, so I will take that for sure because those are just going to help me get an uncommon right now. I kind of want to go ahead and just do the one two get a rare put it in but i kind of want to just do these 1000 ones because i have gotten unlucky one time i did this i did it again and basically i got two rares and then three uncommons which is good because that means i basically spent you know a thousand and i got two rares out of the mix of that with three extra uncommons which if you do the the um, five and five you do get two rares so i basically got the two rares if i would have done this if i did this twice i would have got you know 589s and 589s which would have given me two rares but i did this and i got two rares and three extra in common so it's just three extra in common so if i do open this again and i get like two rares and they're uncommon it's a w if i get an epic out of there it's just even better it just speeds up the process right now it helps me out a lot 
Now, if it is a random, it doesn't really help me as much. If it's like a Marshawn Lynch or Cam, it helps me out a ton. Now, Marshawn Lynch would be a great addition, even though I said I really don't want a halfback because there might be a better halfback they drop. But to be fair, look at my halfbacks right now. It would be nice to have Marshawn Lynch on the squad for sure. Plus, Cam would be a great addition to the team. He'll probably, you will know, he'll get rid of uh, CJ or Winfield, those two epics sitting right there. So, honestly, not bad. It's going to be a great update when it happens. Plus, right now, saving up my weights. I want to keep you guys updated with this. We're at 15,300 uh, right now. Uh, last time I showed you guys, we're at like 11,000. So, we're making progress. We're up at, you know, a little bit past 300k coins, which is great. Which is the goal. The goal is to keep on grinding that. And the main goal is about 20,000 plus weights and 500k coins. And I should be able to hit that soon. And what that's going to do for me is giving me basically 12% boost out of all of these. Which should push me up to a 4,100 overall to go ahead and get the field pass free iconic. Which is the journey player and if we scroll down he's the wide receiver that's in here giants you know i am a giants fan and i i butcher his name a lot but it's i think it's bet burries Pla Pla plaxic Pla burries i probably butchered it if i heard like like if i typed in google heard heard it back in my ear i'll be like wow that's actually how you say it it's easier than i thought it's probably one of those types of things but that's going to do for this one. Uh, two new players, Cam Chancellor, Marshawn Lynch in the AKA promo. Can't wait for another player drop uh, soon. Got to grind right now for all that stuff. Feel past stuff. That new uh, game day event tab thing, which is pretty cool. New reward system throughout the limited time section in the trade. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy. And that's all my progress for now. And yeah. Hopefully you did enjoy. Drop a like on the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.